What is up, everybody? We are back here, and it's time for some time less. It's been a little while since I've kind of taken a look into this format. And with the recent Pioneer Pro Tour and the results from the Vampires deck that did extremely well at that event, I figured, why not port it into Timeless? I mean, Soren's legal, Vein Ripper is legal, and perhaps one of the most broken cards of all time, Dark Ritual, allowing you to cast Soren on turn one. Now, what else does Dark Ritual play well with? I think you can probably figure that one out. Um, so past the Sora Necropotent stuff, we have the Marches, which pair well with Necro to kind of make sure you can keep going with Necro. Uh, the discard spells, Inquisition Thoughtseize, pretty straightforward. A couple of removal spells. Only two Fatal Pushes because we're also playing Marches. Bowmasters, kind of this, like, again, this deck kind of builds itself past the Vampire Package. I'm choosing to play Bloodgast here. It is a relatively low-impact card, but it's also quite potent with Soren specifically in, like, if your opponent has multiple things that you can use the Soren Sacrifice on, you can, like, sacrifice Blood Gas, get it back with the Fetch Land, sacrifice it again next turn, crack the Fetch Land, get back Blood Gas, and go from there. And then the latest, the last addition here is Lord Xander the Collector. Now, this card was not present in the Pioneer version, but the reason I'm choosing to play it in this version is, in general, the Timeless format is a little bit higher power level than your average Pioneer deck, right? So sometimes, now granted, Vein Ripper does have built-in protection. Like, if you turn one Ritual Sword in Vein Ripper, they can't really kill it. There's no, you know, they can't play a zero mana creature and then a Swords to Plowshares and kill it. So they have to wait at least a turn to kill it. And that's cool. But imagine, for a second... On the play, on turn one, you go Ritual, Soren, Lord Xander. Your opponent kept a seven-card hand. They have to discard three cards because Lord Xander makes them discard half of their hand. So you have a Planeswalker and a 6-6, six -six, and your opponent starts the game on four cards, even if they keep seven. So I don't know if the total number, total number of big things for Soren to cheat into play, I don't know if eight is the correct number, but I'm starting with eight. We're going to see how that feels. What I will say about Vein Ripper is... It's kind of cool that Dark Ritual actually can help you hard cast Vein Ripper. So while this one is castable, this one is not. I'm not going out of my way to play a blue source and a red source. I have a Blood Crypt in the I have Blood Crypts in the mana base for red sideboard cards, but I don't think I want to play a blue source for Lord Xander. Although that might be something we want to consider later on. Uh, so keep that in mind. But yeah, I'm starting with eight big things. That number could decrease. I don't know what else I'd play instead. Um, I actually got, there was somebody, I think it was Todd, who posted on the Twitter post that, like, to, you know, commented on my Twitter post, and he suggested playing Deathrite Shaman. Um, oh yeah, Demonic Tutor. I kind of forgot about Demonic Tutor. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we're going to Seven Fatties now. <laughs> I forgot about Demonic Tutor. We're doing this one on the fly. Alright. Imagine if, imagine if I played this deck without Demonic Tutor. <laughs> Can't. Because Demonic Tutor finds Soren. Okay. There we go. Updated list. Demonic Tutor Pog. Um, mana base, pretty straightforward. Again, we're playing Blood Crypts for red sideboard cards. Blood Moons, uh, pretty obvious when those are good. Fable the Mirror Breaker for the grindy matchups. Slaughter Games for combo. And then what a card that may look out of place here, but Roiling Vortex, which is surprisingly good against the Show and Tell decks because they're Show and Telling Omniscience and playing a bunch of spells for free. And if you put a Vortex into play, it's pretty hard for them to cast multiple spells for free off of Vortex. And then Leylands for the Graveyard decks, so... Um, yeah, we're going to try with three Xander, one Tutor, because Tutor can also effectively count as your fourth copy of Xander anyway, so that should be fine, but let's see how we do. All right, well, uh, if you think of our deck as a three-card combo, we have two of the cards, but we don't have the third piece. I'm going to ship this. Game one mirror. It's just, is, is, is Timeless dominated by Soren Imperious Bloodlord these days? You know, I was actually thinking, what if we played Show and Tell and Soren? Uh, okay. We have Ritual Soren, we just don't have the Fatty. So keep this, put back the extra discard spell. Yeah, that's a good point. I guess if I cast Show and Tell, <laughs> put in Vein Ripper, but I put it puts in Omniscience, I'm gonna look like an idiot. <clears throat> Mercadian here, thank you very much for the 17 month reset. Welcome back. Okay, Gigantha Foothills. Is there still a lot of Jund? I, mean, I would assume there is. 
Is Evelyn decent? Uh, do me a favor. Exclamation point card, Evelyn. I don't know what that card does. Okay. Hmm. Oh, no. Evelyn has too many words. They can't put it all on, uh... They can't put everything on, uh, on the bot command. All right, well. All right, I will have to click on this link to find out what Evelyn does. Five mana, two, five, flash. Whenever it ETBs or another M vampire, exile the top card of each player's library with a collection counter on it. Once each turn, you may play a card from exile with a counter on it. If it was exiled by an ability you control, eh, nah, nah, too low impact. Uh, that card doesn't seem very good to me. It's a cool card, but, like, not a very good payoff for Sorin. Yeah, if it was bigger, maybe. No! My secrets. Ragavan literally has player death touch. I don't know I don't know what else to tell you. I guess I was gonna say I got punished for not going ritual Soren plus, but then they would have just binding the Soren anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. Of course. Yeah, thanks. Just just what I wanted. Although I can maybe hard guess that. Dun, 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 dun. Right on time, Vein Ripper. Was I in the draw this game? You know, I feel like this game would have been a lot easier if I was in the play. Okay, that's fine. Okay. This stupid, like, white box is back. Thanks, I didn't want that one. Alright, give me a Soren or a second ritual. I mean, I guess I can't complain with that. Three. I only have five mana. I'm going to push the Ragavan. You like the attacking headlights? I mean, it's cool, but it's just kind of... I don't know. It feels it feels kind of unnecessary. What's the, what's the point of having that? It's tapped. You know it's attacking. Do you need additional confirmation on whether it's actually attacking or not? Like, there's the red arrow, too, you know? Like, there's plenty of things that indicate that it's attacking. Imagine pushing a monkey. I did that at the zoo once. He kicked me out. It was not a good day. They called the cops and everything. Wasn't a big fan. Juicy J. Okay, I land a ritual. Or that. That works. Uh, I guess I save the ritual? It's unfortunate that Fane Ripper's only a 6-5. God damn it. Everything just, like, not lining up that well. I could do the thing, though. Honestly, I would have preferred to just draw a land instead. Just go Ritual at the Vein Ripper. We'll do this, though. <clears throat> I mean, there's monkey emojis. Could just use that instead, right? I know. My 6-drop is trading for their 2-drop. You hate to see it. If I try changing the graphics config, uh, like in what way? Quality level? Should we do low quality? I don't want to do low quality. Medium, maybe? Try ultra? No, because then my stream's going to die. <laughs> my computer can't handle that shit. The computer's not that good. The Shoba Brawler. Another two drop that my main ripper trades for, by the way. They're at 12. If I attack, I'm dead. Alright, I don't have any outs. Alright, Zoo. What do we want against Zoo? I assume Blood Moon is good, considering they're a five color deck. Uh, and I would guess Bowmaster is kind of mid. Actually, Blood Gas is probably worse. Do two and one. All right. See if we can accomplish the thing this game. I just want to do the thing. This is certainly a matchup where I'd much rather have Vayne Ripper over Lord Sander. Especially on the draw, because they're always going to have land one drop. I mean, even in the instances where they have land one drop, your Xander still gets a lot of cards out of them, you know? 
It's still good. Uh, this is turn two Blood Moon. It's probably good enough, right? Hold on, I have to, I have to, I have to enable the extension. Tell me if um, can somebody check for me and see if Untapped is working? And if not, I'm gonna try enabling it right now. But it should be working. I'm gonna keep this. Mm, mm, mm. It's working? Good, good, good. Perfecto. Yeah, it should be. I did I did enable it today, so. I, I forgot to enable it yesterday, and apparently it still worked. Alright, I'll see if they can beat turn one push, turn two blood moon. Ooh, what if I turn to Vein Ripper, though? <laughs> no, I'm not going to. Go. <laughs> I mean, honestly, turn to Vein Ripper might have been good enough. You never know. Is Galta something over Xander? The problem with... Oh, no. That's bad. The problem with Galta is it's much worse against Swords to Plowshares. So the theory behind Xander over Plow is that even if they killed it, you at least got something out of it. I only have five mana. I still might lose this game. Ragavan does kind of does a good job of beating Blood Moon. The only other big vampire that I kind of really thought about was Olivia Crimson Bride. But the thing about Olivia is you need another big thing in the graveyard for it to be good. So it's like, what are we getting back with Olivia? I guess you can somehow discard Vein Ripper and then get it back, but doesn't work with Necro. How so? Oh, because you're discarding... Right, you're discarding the Vein Ripper to hand size, and then you can't get it back with Olivia because it gets exiled. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I gotcha. Alright, I hard guessed. Yeah, if Necro didn't exile the cards when you discarded them, it would be kind of cool, because then you could, like, discard Vein Ripper to hand size, Olivia get back Vein Ripper. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I thought about Bloodletter too. I mean, honestly, maybe the answer is just Preacher. Even though Preacher is relatively low impact, it still might not be that bad. Like, if you put a counter on that thing, being a being a 3-5 death touch is kind of cool. So maybe the answer is just Preacher, I don't know. Okay. Keck by Blood Moon. Keck by Blood Moon. <clears throat> Turn one Preacher. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. I looked at all of the vampires that were legal in this format, and I couldn't find any other good ones. Okay. They can't take too much damage here. I guess they can, like, fetch shock, tribal flame, sack Nicotl. Was the reasoning for not getting Vein Ripper down before Moon? Yeah, I mean, I thought about that. Maybe that was a better idea. It's possible I just played this game wrong. You try Alchemy today? Nah, no Alchemy, just Timeless. If I end up playing any Alchemy, it's just going to be off stream. Do I attack here, by the way? Fetch to 8, play Ripper. They can, like, end step, binding, sack, Nicotl, hit me for four, then I die to travel flames. What if I just didn't attack? Shouldn't have pushed the 2-2 Nicotl. I mean, I kind of felt like I wanted to. Yeah, I mean, I guess if my plan is Blood Moon, why do I care about the Nicotl? I actually, weirdly enough, kind of don't want to attack. Yeah, I'm not going to attack, because I have lethal next turn with two Rippers. So I think this is fine. Wind out of Tribal Flames. Well, if they have a land that lets them get a fifth color, I would, right? Because I go to 10, and this is 5 plus 5 is 10. But now if they kill Ripper, I gain 4, and they go to 6, which means the other Ripper is still lethal. 
Yeah, they fucked up. They should have cast Binding before this. Make that a Ripper Triggers. Well, they only take four off of this, right? So they go to six. Why not play the other Bane Ripper? I think you might be a little behind. <laughs> I did play the other Bane Ripper. You mean the Bane Ripper that I just cast? I'm confused. What am I missing? Uh, they're dashing? Uh, I'm confused. Okay. So they go to four. Okay. Oh, the other Ripper's not in play. I guess they can now binding the Ripper. Hmm. And they should have blocked the Ragavan. Oh, no, they still die. Right, yeah, they still die. Because they sack Ragged, they go to two. Ripper dies, they, they go to zero. Okay. <laughs> okay, game three. Uh, Done. Is the stream lagging? Looks fine on my end. Yeah, it looks fine on my end. Do, 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 do. Soren, Bowmaster, Tutor, Push, Thoughtseize. So no ritual, no payoff for Soren. Uh, I think I ship this. <clears throat> yeah, pretty much, Bolin. I mean, there was a bunch of different responses, but, I mean, the most common responses on that thread were free spells, supplemental products causing a, a, a force rotation, um... And Cascade. Those were kind of the three most common responses, and that's exactly what I expected. I don't want to spoil too much, but there's a there's a reason that I did that podcast. Or, well, I just maybe I spoiled it. There's a reason I posted that thread, rather. Just, just to say, be on the lookout this Thursday slash Friday whenever the next podcast releases. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Fables in the board. <sighs> Do I keep this? The weird part about this hand is I have Castle Blood Crypts, which means if I moon, I don't have a basic. But I can go turn one Blood Crypt, turn two Ritual Blood Moon, and keep the last seven. I didn't have a payoff. I didn't have a Ritual or a payoff for Soren. I just had Soren, two lands, and a bunch of stuff, you know? Yeah, but on the draw, I'm not sure that's good enough. I'm going to keep this one, though. Like, when I'm on the draw, I kind of feel pressured into mulliganing to either, like, Something broken, right? Like some either ritual plus necro, ritual plus Soren, and that first hand didn't have either of those. So that's why I'm all again. I'm gonna lead in position for sure. Actually, I could lead Ritual Inquisition Tutor. Is that bad? Yeah, that's kind of stupid, right? That doesn't that doesn't accomplish anything. I can just do the ritual tutor next turn. <clears throat> Kavu Bomi. Uh, I don't think I care about Bomi, right? Just take Kavu. Thomp Dog, thank you for the six month resub. Welcome back, Thomp Dog. Yeah, I mean, if they trade Stub for. Stub is going to trade for Inquisition regardless. I don't understand the question. Okay. Classic thoughts ease bug. Uh, but we do have binding. Or blood moon, rather. So, yeah. I mean, we're just going to cast blood moon. No reason not to. Their hand is white card, white card, black card. Just don't draw Ragavan, please. Oh, okay. They definitely did not draw Ragavan. All right, Blood Moon solos. Let's go. Did I have fun in that match? Yeah, because I Blood Moon my opponent twice. Of course I had fun. Oh, what is the deck that beats Show and Tell the bet? Like the what is the deck that just can't possibly lose to Show and Tell? I mean, I didn't come here to not go for it. I don't care. Blue white control. Yeah, but you know I'm not playing blue white control. You know that's just not gonna happen. Thinking. 
Okay. Minus. I did ask. That is true. I did ask. All right. I showed you my vein ripper. Please respond. Turn one, by the way. <laughs> That's true. I am. Pl I am playing the black show and tell. Am I part of the problem? <clears throat> Brainstorm. Destroying the bandwagon and show and tell. Yeah, I really don't want to do that, though. The blue-black control deck doesn't play a lot of creatures, right? Case in point. Cool, that was fun. All right, game two. What do we want against blue-black control? Leyline and maybe Fable. What's bad against them? I don't really know. Everything's pretty good against them. Slaughter Games is an auto win. Well, they're playing control. They're not playing any. Co they're not playing a combo deck, right? Cyborg ideas for a green-white deck against Amalia. Um. Doorkeeper Thrall, if your deck can afford it, is pretty good. Are we sure they aren't Show and Tell? Well, they revealed Luris, so they can't be playing Show and Tell, right? <laughs> what would you Show and Tell into play with a Luris deck? <laughs> show and Tell into play at Bowmasters? I don't know what the sideboard, I'm just going to run it back. Is there no other playable vampires? I looked at all of them, and I couldn't find any good ones. Oh, it's called Bow and Tell. Let's go. We have created a new timeless staple called Bow Intel. I mean, this hand just works. I don't need to mulligan super aggressively against blue black control. Just want to keep a hand that functions. What is Show Intel? I can't tell if you're joking or not. Show Intel is two and a blue. Each player puts a card from their hand into play. It's a, a permanent card. It's what, like, artifact, creature, enchantment, or land? Add it all up. Oh, okay, okay, I gotcha. We drew a Dark Ritual, but we have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Although I could just go Dark Ritual without these Inquisition. That seems like kind of a spew. How about I just cast this card? What's this again? Counter a non-creature, conjure a duplicate of target creature card in an opponent's graveyard into your hand. Yeah, I'm just not reading that card. So they have two counter spells, an Edict and a Bowmasters. Uh, I have push for Bowmasters and my own Bowmasters. I guess we just take Counterspell. Okay. Portal to Phyrexia against the Show and Tell decks. So the problem with Portal to Phyrexia, Monkey Brain, is if you Show and Tell, right, or if they Show and Tell... You put in portal, they put in omniscience. Your portal doesn't do anything. So it's like, where? What, what is the point of doing that, you know? Hmm. So if I thought sees, they're going to counter it. I'm actually just going to cast Blood Gas this turn. I guess the thing about... Oh, this doesn't exile the blood gas. It just conjures a duplicate. I thought it exiled, and then it made a copy of it. Okay, this is fine, then. It's better for me. <clears throat> the seven mana value guy that steals on ETB. Yeah, but, like, I wish that was... I wish that we had a good... Va like, a vampire that did something similar. Because I want it to be able to... I want it to be able to work with Soren. If I'm going to play some big, dumb idiot, I want to be able to Soren it and play, right? Now, like, sure, you could just sideboard four agents, and that's fine. And that's just your entire sideboard plan against against Show and Tell. And I, I don't hate that. That's not a terrible idea. And maybe that is the way to go. I don't know. <clears throat> What's nice about playing a white deck, or I guess a five-color deck in this current time, is Leyline Binding is one of the best possible cards you can play against Show and Tell. Like, they show and tell, they put Omni into play, you put Binding into play, it's, we're done, we're just going to move on. You know, pretend nothing happened, so it's it's a pretty good exchange for you. So maybe that's the answer, is just, pl like, find the best four-color Binding soup deck, I don't know, maybe that's that, that's the way to go. Like, we can just play an Omnath deck. Do the Winota decks play Binding? I would assume they do, right? They didn't attack? Why didn't they attack? 
Okay. <laughs> That's why they did that, because they said oops. Uh... This is kind of awkward. If I ritual Soren Ripper, we know they have Edict in hand. But I don't want to just cast Bowmasters, because they probably have a counter spell. So I think I'm going to Thought Seize first. I could ritual bowmasters. It's not the best line though. Could also push and save the ritual. Yeah, let's just do that. I'm gonna push this now and pass. I wanna push before they have counterspell on tapped. You know, it can kill both Atraxan, Omni, and our colors, Meteor Golem. Why not Ripper? So we we Inquisitioned them a couple of turns ago, and we know that somewhere within the top of their deck and their hand, we don't know if they shuffled it away, but they have a Shieldred's Edict, and I'm kind of assuming they kept it, because they know that we're a Ritual Soren Ripper deck, and if I just go Ritual Soren Ripper and they kept the Edict, it's really bad for me. That's why I wanted the Thoughtseize first. So that name's Soren. It's kind of bad. Yeah, drew the land a little bit too late. Um, get back Bloodgast Pass, I guess. <clears throat> and we're kind of chilling. We can eventually just hardcast this thing. Why not Ritual Soren? <laughs> Stop. I can't tell if you're trolling or you're just not listening to the stream. I just explained it. I just, I, I don't want to keep explaining myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I like, am I muted or something? I think we're good. I don't think I'm muted. Archmage's Charm. Okay. No, we knew they had an edict, that's why. <laughs> Why not Ritual Pass? Good question! I was going to go to combat. Whoop. Hard cast, baby. Chad cast. <clears throat> Do they have rats in their deck? I don't know. We're going to find out. Why not pass then concede? Good, good question. Mishra's Bobble. That is not a wrath. That is also not a wrath. Uh, should be BM four zero. All right, BM four zero. <laughs> I love the BM four zero. Now, the best part about the BM four zero split is if you lose the game. You know, there is no possible way that I could have avoided this. There's no no way that I could have ever avoided this from happening. What is needled, Soren? Run away, run away. I'll attack. Yeah, they named Soren with Needle. <laughs> the old four zero concede. Alright, alright, alright. We're cooking. We're doing some stuff. This deck feels relatively powerful. I mean, I'm playing Dark Ritual, you know, which is arguably one of the best cards in the format. It just there's not that many fair decks in Timeless. It, it's really about doing broken shit, and Bloodgast is not good against broken shit, you know. I mean, I wanted to start with Bloodgast, but I I will switch to Death Red Shaman at some point. I mean, I have to take Shaman Tell, right? GG Spoonie. Yeah, we're, we're trying some stuff. We're working on it. We're working on it. I don't hate a lot of what's going on. Mm. Play Bloodgast or Bowmasters? Probably right to play Bowmasters. 
Knowing they don't have Brainstorm in hand now, it might actually be right to just main phase the Bowmasters. Yeah, where I went Ritual Soren Bane Ripper. That, I mean, that's what that's the plan. That's what we're trying to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna main phase this Bowmasters. I know it looks weird, but they don't have a priority window, so we know they don't currently have Brainstorm in hand. And if I wait till their turn and they drop Brainstorm, they can Brainstorm in response. And I don't want that to happen. Yeah, I just want to have Soren. I just want to open Ritual Soren every game. But like, what I like about what I like about Soren is before these mono black decks had Ritual, but not really like the only good quote unquote payoff to Ritual was Necropotence, right? But now it feels like you actually have two payoffs to Ritual, which is kind of nice. So we know about Pierce, which means I'm just gonna cast Bloodgast. It's probably not going to be good enough, but... The best vampire is Silver Smoke Ghoul. Yeah, but, I mean, specifically with Soren, Ghoul is a little bit better, but I Bloodgast is much better when you don't draw Soren. Even though it's pretty low impact. It's the Wink on a show and tell. Um, I think they have Fey of Wishes, but I'm not 100% positive. They like Fey of Wishes for something out of the sideboard. And then I think it's like Karn... I don't really know. Oh, do they do like Karn with Statue and then get Reservoir? I think that might be what it is. I think it might be Karn Reservoir Statue. Yeah, Show and Tell Omniscience. Well, fuck you. Do I let them pierce the Necro now? I don't think so. Because it gets more cards in their graveyard for Dig. Because as is, if they don't draw a land, they can't play Dig this turn. Okay. Mm -mm 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 Westgate Regent. 3 BB. 4-4 four, four Flyer. War Discard. When it deals combat damage to a player, put that many counters on it. Uh, if it had haste, I'd be into it, but without haste, it's kind of sketch. Well, the problem with that, Halaster, is then they can just get... They, they just put a Trax into play, so. But there could be a build of this deck that plays Karn, right? I don't hate that idea. Because what's nice about Karn is Karn's still, like, a decent payoff for Dark Ritual. Oh, they have five cards in Graveyard now. I mean, if I play Necro, they just go Pierce Dig. I'm just going to pass. Yeah, they can dig either way. They're down two show and tell, so there's a chance they don't find a third one. But if they do, we're dead. I don't know. Not necessarily dead, right? If they don't, like, actually kill me, we can maybe go put in Vein Ripper, attack with everything, and then march what they block. Maybe. Depending on whether or not they can actually kill me. Karn can get a Meteor Golem, but not at instant speed, right? So if they show and tell, put Omniscience into play, and you put... Okay, like that. If they show and tell, put Omniscience into play, and you put Karn into play, you can't get the Golem on their turn. You have to wait till their turn, and usually you don't have that kind of time. Oh, that's a good point. They didn't have triple blue. I could have actually played the Necro that turn. I didn't realize this wasn't a blue source. I didn't think about that. I just kind of saw this land and thought it was a blue source. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. So, you're dead. All right. Well, we drew two discard spells. That was good. Let's bring in Slaughter Games, Vortex, Cut, March, Cut, Push. At least it's easy sideboarding. Do they win with Approach? <clears throat> Do they win with Approach? I don't actually know. I know that they show and tell Omniscience into play, and then, you know, whatever from there. I don't, I don't actually know what their real win condition is. I mean, if I'm going to play Slaughter Games, I probably should figure out what their win condition is, right? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to keep this. I'm just going to go for it on turn one. 
you don't play this deck to not just jam. Oh, they played a tap land anyways. You show and tell me, I show and tell you. Go. Force of will. <laughs> not this format. I know. People play show and tell and sneak attack and necropotence and dark ritual, but no, you can't play force of will. We want people to actually cast their broken cards, you know. It wouldn't be fun if you just couldn't cast your broken cards. Obviously, right? Um... I mean, I guess I should thought seize them, even though I know it's going to get spell pierced. Oh, they just don't have spell pierce. Okay. Well, that works. Uh, nice tap land, by the way. The, the sick part about Vortex is you never have to cast it. You just wait till they put show and tell into play. Or wait till they cast show and tell. Kind of sketchy to play Mortuary with in Sanctuary in the same deck. That's a little sketch. Okay. Are they dead? Seven. Attack for seven. Shoot Bloodgast at them. If I had a land, they would have been dead, right? Because I could have went play Bloodgast, shoot them for three. Land, get back, blood gas, hit for nine. But I didn't draw land. Vortex kills. Seven. Twelve. Oh, good point. Yeah, Vortex does kill. So I guess we should cast Vortex and see if they have a counterspell. Well, this is bad against Pierce, though, right? Oh, okay. Well, now they're just dead. So now we go attack for seven. Yeah, this is lethal. Sack of Vampire. <clears throat> Done. You. Cool. We did it. Unless they have Stifle. This deck doesn't play Spell Pierce. They Spell Pierce me last game. Also, they definitely play Spell Pierce. There's no way they wouldn't play Spell Pierce. <laughs> okay, you can Dark Ritual. It's fine. Do they actually have an out? Surely they don't have an out, right? Okay. Yeah, on that. This deck's really good when you have Ritual, Sora, and Vayne River, huh? Mm, need a Ritual. Didn't have a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, the Bowmaster can target itself. <clears throat> I want to keep this. Obviously, I'm not going to, but I want to. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did we just turn one Vayne Ripper? Uh, I mean, obviously, right? Do I keep the Xander? No, I think I keep the Tomb. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I don't know how this is gonna go, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> Alright, go. I don't know if this is good, but your turn. <laughs> Alright, Prage. They're a Lurus deck. I don't know if that's a good or a bad sign. Turn one. Hold. They're like looking at their hand of, I don't know, ter like terminate, fatal push. I don't know, you know. They will not swords. Well, they need a creature for swords, right? Yeah, they can't. They, right now they can't swords. They have to play a creature first. But they could like, ooh, basic mountain. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about that card. I definitely don't give a fuck about that card now. Uh, I guess in case they're playing blue cards, I should probably kill the Regaban now. They're 11, so two turn clock. <laughs> I mean, easy, you know, easy. Easiest game of my life. See, honestly, who needs Sorin if you just open on three Dark Rituals? You just, you just don't need to draw Sorin. It's you you really don't need it. Alright, they showed us a mountain, a Lurus, and a Ragaban. What did we presume they're playing? Probably some sort of Rakdos deck, right? Maybe like the Rakdos Storm deck. Which if they're playing Rakdos Storm, I would want Leyline, but it's not clear if they're actually Storm or not. I think I might just run it back. Let's just run it back.
Could be burn, yeah. Uh, we have Ritual Vein Ripper. Uh, I think we mulligan, but it's close. March is good if they're burn, yeah. They did take a mulligan. Honestly, let's keep this. Because even if we don't draw Soren, we have Shaman Ritual, which is plus three mana. This hand still just casts Vein Ripper on turn three. And that's, like, fine, you know. It's not that bad. Although we probably will trade with Ragavan, given the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, good point. They also might mulligan for Thoughtseize. <laughs> okay, didn't want to draw that one. Thanks. Definitely did not want to draw that one. And before, they just have three rituals. Okay. Fetch Shock Pass. Uh, go. I'm going to wait till combat to kill the Ragavan. So they can't dash a second one. Yep. I mean, they only have two cards in hand. Confused. I'm very confused as to why they had Blood Moon in their deck. Go. <laughs> Kinda hope they cast it. Turns it, it it makes my fetch lands better, right? Okay, it looks like they're not casting Blood Moon. I'm at nine. Nine is not a lot of life. Eh, I don't care about that. So they're playing burn. They're not play yeah, they're definitely playing burn. So they don't have rituals and stuff. That's six. Okay, well, I have nothing else. I don't think this is going to be good enough, but we'll see. Yeah, that's true. They did, they did only see a swamp. Well, they saw two swamps, right? They saw two swamps, three dark rituals. We're dashing? I mean... I'm going to block the Ragavan, right? I know they probably have Bolt, but it does gain me a lot of life if they kill the Ripper. Oh. Okay. <laughs> they just have nothing. Alright, sure. Gek, sure. Go. <laughs> How did I win this game? My turn. Ooh, Hardcast? I don't have a blue source. Should, we, should I play one Watery Grave to Hardcast? Maybe I should. Did they read Bane Ripper? I don't think they read Bane Ripper. I don't think they read Bane Ripper. When the actor is paid. We're kind of cooking. We're kind of cooking. What's our record with this deck? Oh, oh yeah, I had fun. You kidding me? You kidding me? Of course I had fun. <coughs> Did they think I couldn't block? Maybe they forgot about the drain. All right, let's take a look at the record. We're like kind of cooking. Ha <laughs> ha